Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. Always love bringing these videos to your attention. My name is Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest, and today's video is gonna be looking at five stocks that are in the news are these stocks worth your investment? No matter what anybody says about any stocks, you always have to do your own homework and your own analysis to determine whether it's worth your time to put your hard-earned money behind these stocks. With that being said, let's get into the news that I have. Tesla, always in the news. Elon Musk always finds his way into the headlines. Tesla slash prices, though. They did this in China. They also did it in the U.S. Now Wall Street is cutting earnings estimate by this month much. Is that going to be a big hindrance to the stock's price moving higher? We're going to take a look at that. Now, what are the results? Well, brand new today, Tesla's retail sales in China surge after the price cut brokerage data shows. So the interesting thing about this is, well, cut the price. They're going to go after the big companies too. You're going to look at Ford, you're going to look at GM and all of the other companies out there, even though they are the leader in the EV space, cutting the, the price on their vehicles hopefully will spur a lot of people buying more of their vehicles. Another stock, Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond ponders bankruptcy, which I would hate because I do like Bed Bath & Beyond, exciting the meme crowd. Keyword there, meme crowd. Now with that, why is this in the news? Because on, on January 12th, the stock went up like 130%. Distressed, uh, distressed Bed Bath & Beyond surges 130% amid M&A or mergers and acquisition rumors. Are meme stocks a buy? So we know that Bed Bath & Beyond has been in the meme space for a while. Is it time to buy it? Well, we're going to analyze it, but it's a stock that is out there and you need to make a decision as an investor. Is it worth your investment? Next stock, MMAT, Meta Materials. There wasn't a lot of news. The stock has been on a rise. There wasn't a lot of news. The last thing I saw was on January 5th, um, Meta Materials featured in a Project Arrow at CES 2023. And I'm wondering if that's still enough to keep pushing the stock's price higher. A lot of uh, guys out there, guys and gals, want to know what's going on with oil and gas. Well, here's oil. Now trading at $70.81. I did see a story a while ago that stated that the United States was going to start buying back oil once it gets into the $70 price to, reserve, uh, to uh, replace the reserves. I couldn't find any information on when that was going to happen, but you would have to assume that after selling and making a surplus on the oil that we sold out of the reserves, they now have to replace it. And the smart thing is to buy it at a lower price. I still think that it's gonna bump up uh, the demand in oil if we start buying it back to replace it in our reserves. But I need to know when they're gonna start doing that and we'll see it when it does happen. On the other side, oil, uh, natural gas. Natural gas has just been volatile, but here, this came out today, natural gas futures rebound on cold shift for the final week in January, with the forecast offering a much colder outlook for the final week of January to bolster weather-driven demand expectations. Natural gas futures are up sharply early trading on Tuesday, today, coming off a 27.6 cent decline ahead of the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday weekend. The February NYMEX contracts was up 27 cents. So this could be a bullish sign for natural gas. Let's get into the software, and this is where the rubber meets the road. Let's analyze the stocks. The first thing that comes up, here's the five stocks, heavily touted in the news. First thing I see out of the five stocks, three of them are sell recommendations, which gives me a red flag and say to stay away. Even though Tesla is a sell recommendation, fundamentally, this is the stock that has set up the most fundamentally to be sound. Relative value at 1.6, Tesla should outperform a AAA corporate bond by 60% over the next one to three years. And relative safety is still above one. The company still meets or exceeds their earnings expectations. But what's hurting it? Relative timing. The stock is definitely in a downtrend. Here's oil. Oil, uh, right now, with a relative timing at 0 0.97, just very close to the value of above one, which will put oil in an uptrend. And again, with the U.S. starting to hopefully buy back 
the oil to replace in the reserves, that could be a positive sign. Bed Bath & Beyond, grossly overvalued. Now we know why it's a meme stock. Uh, no good upside potential, no safety. It is in an uptrend. Why? Because it has jumped up big. Uh, it is a hold recommendations. The earnings growth on it is negative. Uh, if I scroll this over, it's the only stock in this list that grows their earnings in a negative fashion and are not making money. They have negative earnings earnings. So it is a meme stock. All I would say it's up 6% today is be very careful with it. It's not fundamentally sound. This is a trade more so than a investment. Boyle. Uh, right now, relative timing still low. So even though the forecast for a little bit more of a colder winter, uh, I'd be very careful with uh, Boyle right now. I'd still be probably more on the KOLD, the cold side. Uh, it's just been beaten up tremendously and it's a sell recommendation. Meta materials are grossly overvalued again, not fundamentally sound. And that news from the CES 2023, I don't know if it's enough to really move it up, but it is in the news and it's up over 1% today. Let's graph all of these real quick, put these on a three month graph. There's Tesla. What I do like about Tesla again, it is fundamentally sound. It is currently undervalued after being overvalued for so long. Look at that right there at the 20 day exponential moving average. Earnings per share looks good, just leveling out right now. Let's go over to USO Oil. Look at that, above the 20-day exponential moving average, right at a level of resistance. I love the cross above the 20-day as a way to say, hmm, get ready on oil. Let's go over to Bed Bath & Beyond, choppy. Big jump, big move, big pullback. Nice open day today. It still is above the 20-day exponential moving average. And when it did go up, it did go up on rising volume. But look at the earnings per share continues to fall. Next one, looking at Boyle. Again, sitting at a level of support below the 20-day exponential moving average, moving lower. I'd be very careful with this, uh, even with the forecasts of a colder winter right now. I need the stock to come to me before I jump on board. And the last stock in here is Meta Materials. Uh, definitely trending lower, below the 20-day exponential moving average. Earnings per share, man, a little bit more negative than it was three months ago. So I'm not feeling real warm and fuzzy about that as well. So folks, even though these stocks are making the news, you have a system like VectorVest or a YouTube channel like VectorVest to help you to keep yourself out of the pitfalls on losing money just because of the hype behind these stocks. Folks, if you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, I'd love for you to share this so that other people who are looking at these stocks can get the real deep down information to help them to make the right decisions. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted to when videos like this come out. Folks, this video is over. Until the next time, see ya.